When Sissy King hits the dance floor, it is artistry in motion. A native Southwesterner, Sissy actually grew up in Albuquerque and began her showbiz career at the age of only two and a half when she just toddled into her first dancing class, effectively launching a career that has spanned more than 50 years. When she was just 14, Dance Magazine named Sissy and her brother John Ballroom Dance Couple of the Year, and Sissy is now performing in Albuquerque Little Theater's production of Singing in the Rain, playing gossip columnist Dora Bailey, the woman who's in the know about what's happening in Hollywood. She's like the TMZ of that day. <laughs> Good morning, Sissy. I like that. Is that what you were, right? You were yes, our Hollywood yes, buzz. Yes, yes, oh yes. It's so it's fabulous to have you. Thank you for joining us early in the morning. Thank you. It is a little early, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a treat for all of us, and many of our viewers are going to recognize you, of course, from the Lawrence Welk Show. That was when you danced your way into America's heart as Bobby's better half. Can you tell us about that? Oh, well. You can do it through dance. It's okay. How much time do we have? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just had a fabulous time. I yeah. grew up dancing here in Albuquerque. And uh, I've always went to Fishbacks Dance Studio, and then my brother married the, their daughter, Kathy. And sure. So we now have four generations of professional dancers with our, the latest Juliet is, uh, is, uh, has just been chosen to go dance in a Broadway workshop. Oh, my gosh. So she How just auditioned. Fabulous. What was the audition for you like for the Lawrence Welk Show? Well, I didn't even realize it was an audition. Really? Because Bobby just asked me to dance. He saw me at a dance competition. He asked me to dance and then asked me to meet with him the next day. And I'd always seen him on TV. Sure. And he was Bobby, one of the original Mouseketeers. <laughs> and so we all knew who he was. Right. And uh, so we... But, you know, it's like as far as ballroom was concerned, I had some pointers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> I had mm -hmm. a few pointers for Bobby. I bet. Anyway. <laughs> I bet. Well, what were your fondest memories of being on a show like that? Oh, gosh. I'm sure you there's know, a million was, of them. What was great is everything was fabulous. Working with, you know, like a, a, a national treasure. Sure. Lawrence Welk was, a, you know, it's like a musical icon <laughs> right. in America. And, uh, but I'll tell you what was really fun was not only doing the shows, but to go and travel mm. the United States and Canada, I know some of the littlest, sweetest little towns. Aww. We played county fairs. We played, sometimes we would dance on a stage that was as big as your little rug right here. Wow. And wow. just, we, all, we had to make it work. You know, you're doing yep. 45 minutes on, on a rug. <gasps> you got to do what you got to do. Doing full dance routines. That's amazing. Well, <laughs> it, teaches you, it teaches you a lot about working in confined spaces. And I want to show a little blast from the past because we actually have a clip of Bobby and you dancing to Moon River in oh. 1971. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, sissy. <laughs> oh. Lots of hair. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> I have the chills. That, that is, thank you. That's a pretty clip. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous gown. We, oh, that was fun too, to get to wear all, all these beautiful costumes every week, a new costume. Oh, I bet. <laughs> oh, I bet. I mean, when you watch this, do you, do you remember that moment? Sure. Uh, Absolutely. Think, God, I do. It seems like do. yesterday, right? Yes, and it seems to me like I could probably still dance that way, but oh, I'm not I bet so you sure. Could. <laughs> I bet you could. Well, here you are actually dancing to Broadway Melody in 1977. Little oh, sassy pants yeah. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that dress. That's that a hot was one. one of the fastest tap dances we ever did. <gasps> Oh. We are just shuffling as fast as we can, and now we have to make it all the way around that fountain and that street lamp and dance in front of that. Oh. <laughs> and you that, talk about learning how to spot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> how long did it take you to learn a new routine like this? You know what? Generally, it got to where we could start to finish uh, and choreograph a routine in two and a half hours. <gasps> so typically, if we were, you know, choreographing something new, Two and a half hours, wow. and we, we always just kind of like went into a, a, a rehearsal hall wherever we could find it. We did not have a specific rehearsal hall. See, you could teach those Dancing with the Stars people a thing or two about oh, learning a dance routine quickly. They do. They, they, I'm just, I love that show, and yeah. I so appreciate the professionals are mm -hmm. just amazing. But Bring the, the, the non-professionals, they're spectacular. It's tough, right? These people get, go from, you know, like walking down the street and chewing gum to... <laughs> right. Just looking fabulous. To I'm just so proud of everybody. Well, what happened to Bobby? Bobby lives in Hollywood Hills. Really? Yes, he's got a wife and four kids, and I think they're probably all grown up, and he's probably an empty nester now. Aww. But, 
Oh, I have to ask you this. I know so many people want to know, what was Lawrence really like? Lawrence was such a gentleman. Mm. He was always so sweet. And I'll tell you, so many times I got to dance with him. You did. And I would stand in the wings with him, you know, prior to us going on stage and doing something nice like a, like a waltz and whatnot. Oh, wow. He always smelled good. Oh, that's a good little <laughs> thing to know. But he was a know. prankster. He, he, he was. He was. He he was kind of. He kind of liked to pull little jokes on people, and he thought it was so funny. <laughs> You know, let's I put our it. cards under the table, folks, you know. See, I love these little tidbits of information that none of us would ever know. He used to call Bobby and I Sissy and King. Sissy and King? It's like, well, close. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, what's so great is that now you're performing and singing in the rain right here at the Albuquerque Little Theater, and you're, you know, you're really involved with the Albuquerque Little Theater, which I want people to know. So I want to also ask you how you like performing for a hometown audience. It's the best. It's just so Aww. much fun to be in my hometown yeah. and to get to perform at Albuquerque. I mean, the legendary Albuquerque Little Theater. Yes. 83 years. I uh, just, you know, way before I was even a young little tot. Absolutely. And to get to come back to Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. And what's been fun is every time I've done a show here in Albuquerque, uh -huh. I've gotten to go do it elsewhere. Like maybe, oh. you know, eight or ten weeks and get paid a nice amount of money to sure. go. Sure. Here that's not a bad thing. Here it's for the community, and that's a lot of fun. What other shows have you been a part of there? Well, one of the first ones at ALT was uh, The Full Monty. Oh, nice. And that was really fun. <laughs> I, bet, I bet it was. <laughs> that was a lot of fun, and it was a great production. And I got to do it out in California for 10 weeks. How nice is Eight that? Eight shows a week, and... Uh, and it, it, it was that was a lot of fun too. But oh, I'm sure. I tell you, I loved my Albuquerque cast. Aww. It was just all these guys. I mean, one of the things that I loved when I came back would come back to Albuquerque mm -hmm. is coming to see theater. Yeah. And I went, you know, there's a lot of. I knew there were a lot of good dancers in Albuquerque, mm -hmm. but a lot of great actors and performers. And great talent here. So. Theater is just fabulous here in Albuquerque. And hey, a lot of us go to places like L.A. or New York, and then we end up coming here. Yeah. This is where we end up coming back to get the work, because yeah. there's a lot of talent here. And I want to talk a little bit about the role for who, people who have not seen Singing in the Rain. Tell us a little bit about the role of Dora. Dora, in the movie, opens the, the, the movie, mm -hmm. and in the play, yes. she definitely opens the play. They're having a premiere and telling you a bit about uh, what, you know, some of the characters. She really kind of, she is the gossip columnist, so yes. therefore she knows all the names of the characters and who they are <laughs> and is in her very lovely and wonderful and pretentious manner she is telling you uh you know she's giving you information as to what you know people do and there you and, are and i'm in the red hat yes. so i'm larger it's larger than life head a hopper on, <laughs> head a hopper on steroids is what it, <laughs> she may be I love and these it. characters are fabulous the actors are fabulous the mm -hmm. entertainment and the dancing is just uh. wonderful larry aguilar did the uh Choreography, Ryan Shepard and, and Tamara Shepard, uh, you know, uh, put, put, had their input. Uh, mm -hmm. Amy Baca did also. Henry. Uh. Um, <laughs> yes, Henry, Henry. We know Henry. <laughs> <laughs> the director. We love him. And, and, oh, he's just wonderful. He's fabulous. And so. so are you. And we're so excited about this. I mean, you have millions of fans, obviously, from your Lawrence Walk days. But you're also getting a whole new generation of fans. So how are you finding that they're discovering you now? Well, the, one of the things that really is fabulous is, is we went into, uh, after the Welk Show went off of, uh, um, you know, they went into syndication, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but PBS brought us back, uh, a, a guy That's named great. Robert Allen over in, uh, at Oklahoma Network, uh -huh. brought the Lawrence Welk into PBS World, and you know what's Thank funny? Goodness. The Lawrence Welk Show makes more money for PBS than any other PBS special. Really? That's a wonderful bit of tri trivia. That's really good We're to know. We're proud of that. So you should be. And, and you know, I want to also mention to viewers that Singing in the Rain is actually the final show of Albuquerque Little Theater's current season. Oh, yes. So, first of all, how can people get involved and get tickets to see the show? Uh, you can call Albuquerque Little Theater. Okay. You can look it up on, on, on the internet. Okay. And we have, uh, this is the last of this season, but, you right. know, the next season starts in a week. I know. <laughs> I know. And that's the 83rd season, as you mentioned, and they're starting it all off with that huge Broadway hit, Spring Awakening, yes. a fantastic show. Yes. A little, yes, little yeah. controversial. Yeah, well, we have, we have shows for adults. Yes. And we have shows for families. Yes. So we have uh, eight shows lined up, and we go from uh, Spring Awakening uh, to Little Women to Con 
Bajo mm -hmm. Fall, the oh. producers for our Christmas show is is It's a Wonderful Life. Amazing. Our stuff. next show, uh, uh, fam not family, but you know, uh, big show is uh, nine to five. Oh, that's going to be a blast. So we're going to have a lot of fun. The producers is coming up. Cat on a hot tin ro Ooh, roof. Hot. So we have quite a variable and a very. Um, show lineup Ooh. and it's just real exciting to you know I go and audition good and, and I, so I have a feeling you are pretty good at those auditions I, I you know what? <laughs> I have auditioned very seldom and really? so you probably don't have to often I, I kind of show up and I go now what <laughs> just <laughs> now bring what? it on give it to me <laughs> give me more I have well, to learn how, to how much longer can folks come see you in singing in the rain next week and that's it three that's more it. shows three only three folks three wow okay so we do friday, not want to miss our chance this friday this saturday this sunday what a great gift for father's day take your dad to singing in the rain i love you you're perfect is it oh now change, now change. <laughs> <laughs> another great show that's by a, the way that's another show that's going on us broadway babies yeah. i tell you now you definitely want to check it out and of course all the information is on your screen right now for how you can get tickets i highly recommend it what a blast and what an honor to have you here today sissy thank, thank you so you, much Nikki. And continued success. You need to come and do a show with us. I'd love to come dance with you one of these days. <laughs> and if you have the blues, we may know why. The docs from Red River Health and Wellness are coming up next. Don't go away. Do, 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 do. Then you'll want to stick around for pet-friendly summer travel with Traveling Jack. There he is.